in the basin, I don't really find I get a great deal of current as such. Okay, um, I'm always working with the with the, uh, with the breeze. Okay, so I only, I only only fish on on the on the breeze. It's different to say like fishing the shell haven where you're fishing the tidal flow. Okay, fishing the tidal flow, I say the shell haven. Uh, always fish. You always doesn't matter if it's the shell haven or even the, the basin. You always fish the way that your boat's being propelled. Okay, it's different totally to say bait fishing, whereas by you're fishing out the back and you're going this way, you're fishing the same way as your boat's drifting. So if you're drifting this way, we're fishing this way all the time, and we're keeping in touch with it, ripping it up, keeping in touch. The jig's working back towards the boat as the boat's working towards the jig as well. Whereas by if you're flicking behind it and you're trying to keep and you're moving away, <laughs> you're moving away, it's trying to catch up and it's not getting back to the bottom every time. You've got to hit the bottom every time to be successful to get flatted. For, for flathead fishing, I do it all the time. Yep. Fine. You've got to cover ground. You've got to, you've got to be moving and covering enough ground. If there's no drift, I'll either use my electric motor or I'll pepper a whole area and I'll do a complete arc and then I'll move again the distance of how far my cast was and I'll do it again and then I'll do it again and so forth. I'll move, just keep moving. I won't just stay there. I have had people that will throw the anchor down and do the same thing um, but I think you're limiting your, your opportunities by not drifting. You're covering ground, you're covering more opportunities to catch fish. When I start my day, I have a variety of, of retrieves, but in the deep water I'll start off by just basically rip up and make a sawtooth action. So what you're doing is your plastic's going straight up and dropping like, like a sawtooth on a, on, a, on, a, on a saw. Okay? Again, as I say, up, and as it's dropping, is when the fish is going to come up and grab it. Now, when you're doing that, you're taking in the slack at all times. Okay, keeping in touch with it. Because if you're just letting it go slack and then taking the slack, you're not going to have that direct feel back and know if the fish has taken it on the drop. If you're keeping in contact with it and keeping the slack, taking in the slack at the same time, and keeping contact, you'll feel just that slightest knock. Okay, you feel that slightest knock, you'll know then on the next jig, you've got him. Okay, he's already got it in his mouth. Okay, one of the other things I'll tend, I'll, I'll do a variety of techniques. I won't just stick with the one basic, just rip and, 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 and go. I'll go sideways, sideways. Other times I'll just, after I've cast out, I'll wait till it's hit the bottom, and then I'll just wait. Give it a few seconds, I'll take it in the slack, I'll just wait. All of a sudden, I'll just give it six wines and a hand straight away. And then I'll just let it drop again. I'll wait. And I'll just give it a few seconds. And then again, I'll just wind again. And then I'll just let it stop again and wait. And all the time, but I've kept in contact with it. And doing that, as I'm waiting, you'll see some movement. And then I'll give it a rip. Because I felt that time, I've set the hook in. Okay, so it's a matter of being flexible, a matter of mixing up your casts and your retrieves. So mixing up your casts, mixing up your retrieves. If you do that, then you're going to give yourself a greater chance. Don't just get this mindset of doing one thing only. What you find, you know, naturally after heavy rains, your water's going to be a lot dirtier anyway, um, and in that instance, most of your fish go to deeper water when it's dirty anyway. They get out of that, out of the shallow waters because there's far too much fresh and stuff. Um, so it, it doesn't really make a difference. I think if you if you're fishing shallow water, then you'll find that uh, the um, the flathead will go uh, um, deeper if it's if it's really clear. If you're in deep water, it's not going to make any difference in shallow water then you, it's, it has got something to do with it.
more so because of the, they're so light. Okay? And they're really light and they make a well balanced outfit. If you're casting and say doing a thousand casts in a day, the lighter you can get your outfit, the better it is. So therefore the arm not feeling like it's going to fall off after after half a day or so or a few hours. The other thing is I find that like the traditional old um, ugly sticks or the power tips and stuff like that with the solid glass is too much, too whippy, too too flexible, and it's it's not imparting the, the, the movement properly. So whereas by these, tend to be, although they've still got a really good arc and they bend well at the, at the tip, they, they, they make the plastic work better. Okay? So that's what I've found, and that's why I prefer to use them. <coughs>